Welcome to Maths with Bob. Today we're looking at the parametric parabola equations. This first one is the equation of the tangent. So how are we going to find the equation of the tangent? Okay. You see we've got the parametric points 2AP, AP squared, and you um, hopefully know that the P is at the parameter and the A is just a constant. A is actually the focal length, actually, um, in terms of if it was an x squared equals 4AY, we know A is actually the focal length. But A is a number, uh, just a constant. If A is 1, the uh, point will be 2P, P squared. If A is 2, it will be, what, uh, say, 4P, 2P squared, etc. But this is just a general point, 2AP, AP squared, and we have to find what's called the equation of the tangent. Now, this is going to give us the parametric equation of the tangent, actually. So the first thing is, how would we do this? Well, we're going to need, let's have a look. What do we need? Well, we first of all need the equation of a line, y minus y1 equals, say, m x minus x1. So really, what we, all we need is this thing here, m. How are we going to find m? And uh, you might remember from the, the previous video, actually, m will be the, the parameter, which is actually p. But how do we know this? So first of all, let's actually just work out what uh, the m is. m is actually uh, dy dx for the curve. Okay, which was, uh, okay, remember dy, d in this case, p, by the p dx, using the chain rule. So let's actually just uh, try this, okay. dy dp, what's y? Well, actually just, let's work out y. y is what? ap squared. Uh, dy dp, okay, uh, dp is equal to what? 2ap, that's just differentiating with respect to p. Uh, we know x is actually just a 2ap, so uh, it's obviously uh, dx dp uh, would just be equal to 2a. Okay, so let's just, just plug this in and see what happens. dy dp, uh, we can see here's 2ap, uh, dx da, or d, sorry, dx dp is 2a, but what about dp dx? Well, it's just the reciprocal, isn't it? So dp uh, dx is just 1 on 2a, Okay, by 1 on 2a, and hopefully we can just see the 2a's go, and we actually end up with p. Yes, hallelujah, p. p is, in fact, uh, the value, if you like, of the gradient uh, to the curve which the 2ap AP comes from, which hopefully you might remember is uh, x squared equals 4ay. At the value, uh, this is a general point, 2ap. So it's the parameter's value is, in fact, um, the actual slope of the, on the curve, or the slope of the tangent at, the, at that particular curve, or the slope of the curve x squared equals 4ay um, at a parameter value of p. Also, you could say that p's parameter, well, the value of the parameter at that point, okay, which is used to generate that point, is actually the, the slope, uh, if that makes any sense. So uh, the idea is, what are we going to do now? Well, we now put a p in here, so all we do is we put a p here, we use the point uh, x1, y1, so we actually call this one uh, x1, y1, okay, and we just sub that in at uh, what? x1 and y1, y1 is what? a p squared, and x1 is 2ap, okay, and so we have to try and work this out. So let's actually go through and see what happens. So, all right, so let's actually just do this. Uh, okay, y, oops, okay, let's just change color. Okay, so y minus ap squared is equal to p, the parameter's value, uh, x minus 2ap. Uh, we seem to have a 2ap over here. Okay, all right, so. We just expand this out, okay, y minus ap squared is equal to px minus 2ap squared, Put the, okay, therefore get y is equal to what, px, uh, okay, we add ap squared to minus 2ap squared and just get minus ap squared. So this is what's called the parametric uh, tangents equation, uh, and Obviously, if the parameter changed value from P, say, to Q, uh, we'd have another tangent value. Say it was actually at, 
let's uh, let's actually change the value to say uh, to a q a q squared okay and let's also do it for 2 a t a t squared okay so what would the param well the parametric equations be well if the parameter just changed to q it would be y equals qx minus a q squared if the parameter value has now changed to t it would be y is equal to tx minus that's a t uh, a t squared okay so it just depends on what the parameter's value is now just say for instance um, the parameter value was in fact 1 okay we'd have to obviously you can see here if the parameter value was 1 okay that would be just y equals 1x minus a p squared which would just be uh, if the parameter value is 1 so it would just be uh, minus a and a what would a be well we'd have to work that out so that's well okay we're now going to try and find the intersection point of the tangents now normally the tangents are at point say p let's actually say normally we'd say that there's a tangent at p so p would be at uh, 2 a p a p squared okay that's a parametric point and q we normally say is at 2 a q a q squared okay these are f uh, following on from the general parametric point 2 at at squared and some people say well the parameter value at p is p and the parameter value at q is q Okay, and this can get a bit confusing, but basically those two points have different parameter values. It's called P at P and Q at Q. Uh, and basically these generate two equations. Obviously there are two equations. Uh, the equation of the tangent here, which we derived before, was okay, Y is equal to uh, PX minus AP squared. And here it would just change to Y equals QX minus AQ squared. And you can see here, very easily, trying to find the point of intersection, because they're both equal to y, we would just let, uh, what, px minus ap squared equal qx minus aq squared. Then we'd normally try and uh, isolate the x, try and solve for x, I guess you could say. The x point of the intersection would be what? Um, let's put the q on the other side, x. Uh, the P is still there, minus Q. What have we got on the other side? Uh, we've got what? Put the AP squared becomes A, uh, basically P squared minus Q squared. Uh, P plus Q times P minus Q. And hopefully we can just see straight away that the P minus Qs would cancel and giving us an X value of A, P plus Q. So basically the X value of the point of intersection of the tangents is just by multiplying a the focal length by the addition of the parameter values p and q okay now what is the y value there well we know the y value is just p times x uh, so it's actually the y value therefore the y value would also be what p times x so it would be um, what uh, px so it's going to be a p uh, p plus q uh, minus uh, a p squared, that's just substituting into y equals px minus ap squared, and you can see here we get ap squared minus ap squared in an ap cube. So we end up getting, getting uh, what, ap cube. So basically the intersection of tangents uh, is at the point, what, x is ap plus q, and then comma ap q. Okay, so that is the intersection point of the tangents. Okay, let's actually now go on to the equation of the normals. Okay, let's now find the equation of the normals. Well, the first thing uh, we need, obviously, is, well, we need the slope of the normal. Um, and um, you might remember that, in fact, uh, the, uh, we had already found that the slope of the tangent was equal to p at a point 2ap ap squared, it would be q at uh, 2aq aq squared, or if you like, t at 2at at squared. But we know that, obviously, the, the slope of the normal must be the negative reciprocal of this slope, which would be just minus 1 on p. 
Why do we know that? Well, the tangent and the normal are at right angles, or if you like, perpendicular, and we know that there's a relationship between the slopes. When you multiply the slopes together, you get negative 1. Uh, sometimes they say, uh, like this, m uh, t times uh, m uh, tangent normal must equal negative 1. Okay, m1, m2 equals negative 1. Okay, so let's just, just go through and derive this. Okay, uh, so the first thing is, we just use again uh, y minus y1, okay. Uh, we use y minus y1 equals mx minus x1. I'll just change the color. Okay, um, we have, okay. So it'd be y minus y1, okay. Remember, this is x1, y1 here. So it'd be y1 minus uh, ap squared equals the slope m, uh, which is now minus 1 on p, uh, x minus x1, which is actually 2ap. So I'm, I'm just substituting straight into y minus y1 equals m x minus x1, the equation of a line with a point slope form. Okay. So now what you do is you just multiply everything by p. Uh, okay, what do we get? Uh, we have uh, p y minus a p cubed equals what? Uh, minus x now plus 2 a p. Okay, so that is the equation of the normal, and normally we put the x and the py together on one side, so we input the here, so we have x plus py, and then we put the, the parameters uh, on the other side, so we normally say, well, it's at 2ap plus ap cubed, so we normally would just write that, sometimes it's written as like ap cubed plus, uh, okay, ap cubed plus 2ap. So that would be the equation of the normal. So this is the normal's equation. Okay, it's a parametric normal, right? It has a parameter value in it, and a actually is the focal length as well. So the a is a number, and the p is the parameter. So that's the parametric normal at this point, 2ap, ap squared. So let's actually just go have a quick look. Say it's actually at uh, 2aq, aq squared, or say 2at, at squared. So what would the... Uh, equation of the normal at, say, uh, uh, this point here. Let's call that, uh, say, A and B. So at A, the normal's equation would be what? Uh, okay, just x plus, now the parameter value is q, so it's qy is equal to A. Okay, A hasn't changed. A is still the focal length. Now, it now be, instead of p cubed, it would be q cubed plus 2aq. Okay, say at B, the parameter value now is T, so it's X plus, now, TY equals, okay, AT cubed now, plus 2AT, okay. So, you can see here, the normal's equation would depend on the parameter value at the point. We're going to now find, uh, try and find the intersection of the normals, okay, we need to solve a couple of these equations simultaneously to find the point of intersection of what's called the normals. Well, okay, yeah, let's actually now go ahead and find the point of intersection of the normals. Well, uh, let's, first of all, we need the normals equations, uh, so let's actually uh, write down the... Okay, so at P, okay, obviously 2AP, AP squared, the equation of the normal will be just X plus PY, okay, okay, X plus PY equals AP cubed plus 2ap. At q, uh, okay, point 2aq, aq squared, x plus qy equals aq cubed plus 2aq. Now we're going to have to find the point of intersection. So you can see there's an x is there, so I think the easiest way would probably be just subtract. Okay, let's have a quick look. py minus qy is equal to what? Uh, a p cubed, uh, let's have a look, minus a q cubed plus 2 a p minus 2 a q. Okay, so first up we would just uh, factor out a y uh, and see what happens. We can sort of say, well, y lots of what? p minus q. Now we need a uh, take. Um, an a out of this, uh, and then we've got a factoring. So we go here, uh, what, a, what, uh, p minus q, uh, cubic factorization, uh, what, p squared plus, uh, 
Uh, now we have uh, P and Q, so it's just PQ plus Q squared. Uh, and then we have what here? Uh, plus 2A P minus Q. So you can see we can just divide everything by P minus Q. Uh, and we hand out what? Let's quickly divide through. Y is going to be equal to what? A lots of P squared plus P Q plus Q squared. Uh, plus 2a. Uh, if we can actually put that into the brackets, so let's actually uh, put that inside the brackets. So take a factor of 2 out. Okay, so let's actually put that in the brackets. Okay, so uh, take an a, and you can just see here we just take a a out, and we just have a plus 2. Close bracket. Okay, so that is the y coordinate. Now the x coordinate. Uh, we need to substitute that in uh, to uh, one of the equations and try and work out what the um, uh, the x value is. Okay, so um, let's actually uh, do that. So let's write up here the point. The uh, first point is, uh, well, we don't know what the x point is at the moment, so the x point is unknown, but the y point is this one here, fairly long one, uh, a uh, p squared plus p q plus q squared plus 2. So that's the y value of the point of intersection. Okay, we now have to try and find the x value. So we're going to need to substitute that into one of the equations. So let's just do it into the first one. So let's actually just solve it in. Uh, I'll just rub some of this out. And this, uh, okay, so we need to sub in the uh, y value. So we have what? Uh, x plus p lots of the y value. Now that's a, a you can see here, uh, p squared plus p q plus q squared plus 2 and equals what? a p q plus uh, 2 a p. Now we are, uh, okay, so we need to now try and work out what the uh, x value is. Let's have a quick look. Wow, a p q. Okay, so we've got uh, a p squared and a p squared. So, okay, we need to actually multiply this out. So x plus what a p. Now we have a p q. You can see that'll cancel. We have what uh, plus an a p squared uh, q plus uh, a p q squared plus a uh, two a p equals a p. Q plus 2AP. Okay, right. So a few of them will cancel. Let's have a quick look. What will cancel? Uh, okay, the, uh, that one will cancel. This one will cancel. Okay, um, so we are going to end up with... What are we going to end up with? Well, we're going to end up with X is equal to... Uh, let's have a look. Put the thing on the other side. Minus. Now, can we take out a factor? Yes, we can. APQ. APQ is common to both terms. Uh, then we have just have a P plus a Q. Okay, they're going to be negative because I need to put them onto the other side. So, basically, the X coordinate is now going to be this uh, messy one, minus A P Q P plus Q. So you can see here the actual... Uh, oops, we don't need that second bracket there. Uh, however, we still do need the Q. <laughs> okay. Right, so that's the x-coordinate of the point of intersection of the normals, and the y-coordinate, as we found before, was that one, a bracket, uh, p squared plus pq plus q squared plus 2. Okay, so you can see here, the normals uh, point of intersection is a little bit messy, you might say. All right, well, uh, that's all for now, and uh, we'll do some more uh, equations shortly. Bye for now.